Hello guys, welcome back. Uh, this is the tutorial that we are going to implement in the field in IoT Lab. It's easy, accessible from here, I think. Yeah, and it's this tutorial here. Uh, once again, okay, uh, this is the, um, maybe we don't see it before. Anyway, this is the stack of our application. We we'll say and what we have here the application here the different yeah the the Mac layer here the physical layer and we communicate I don't see before on this frequency a a six eight key keywords or megahertz I don't remember anyway it's the, the it's, it's a frequency that is uh, it's used for scientific uh, purposes okay. Uh, you have uh, you have already seen this in this 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 image, and this is how our network is uh, the, is the architecture of our network. And as I said before to you at the end of the of the of the, um, of the previous video, we have uh, this um, we were going to use uh, the Things Network uh, gateway, which is installed in the IoT. Uh, uh, lab cycle a site and we are going to connect it with our uh, with the t that is already connected to the TTM backend server and this allows us to communicate uh, um, from a device here in the IoT lab with the TTM but first uh, for start you need to create your account with the things network and uh, this is the link of our of our tutorial and you can access to the things network from here and you need to yeah create an account, sign in, and verificate it um, and activate it. And then you need to add an application to your um, TTN account, and that's very easy. You can see it from here. Anyway, we'll, let's see together. Uh, once you uh, log in, you are in this console. You can click on applications and you uh, can click on add application you should have uh, like a button for adding an application and this application generates two uh, keys yeah not two keys this uh, is an identifier and this uh, uh, and two, the, two keys for communicates okay with the application then you need to s register within your application okay this is my application okay and clicking on this button you can register. You can register a device, and uh, yeah, you can see here I have two devices. This is the device um, that I have created for uh, our experiment. Okay. Mm, yeah, reset frame counter, but maybe that doesn't reset it. Uh, and yeah, and you need to do these steps uh, for for um, for registering your your. Uh, your device in the things network application this generates three different keys these three um, which are here the device identifier the application identifier and an application key that is this one here okay um, these are used uh, for uh, there are two kind two two way of um, of um, encrypt your, your 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 information because as you remember I've spoken about application session key and network session key which are used for for encrypting your information these are keys preliminary keys that are used for building those um, those keys as that you can see here and that are used for communicates and these thanks through the uh, old OTAA um, activation method these are dynamically generated but anyway you can also uh, have an activation by, by personalization method this one here that uh, randomly generated it to static uh, network session key and application session key as you can imagine uh, this uh, activation method here it's uh, more secure because each time you join the network, you will generate a different network session key and application session key. Okay, 
these are the preliminary steps. Let's let's now uh, let's now let's now start this tutorial. First, to do it, we need to uh, log in, uh, in the, through SSH. So uh, this is. to start uh, yeah to out to authenticate myself and yet it's like this yeah you need to type your uh, password too and then you need to create an experiment this is the command to create a to submit experiment that lasts uh, the uh, 60 minutes and this is the device that we are going to use which is this board here and uh, Maybe we can see it if you're curious and it's this board here, okay? Uh, we had it actually in, in a egg, but we don't have we didn't have the opportunity to give them to you, okay? Where I where I was, okay Now so you need to type this command it's, it's the same for everybody. Now you have created uh, a, um, an experiment with this ID. Let's, let's copy it and let's see uh, if it's running or not. Oh my god, no. If it's not running, I uh, hope that, that not. Uh, Here we are. Yeah, it's running. Great. But here you can type more information with these other commands if you're interested in. These are the information. Ah, yes, these are actually important because you need to remember that you need to remember about this time because we are going to use it because it's, a, it's the identifier of this board here within the, uh, uh, the lab. Now, uh, you should clone the Riot um, Rebel. I have already done it, so I will jump into it. Okay, now uh, I you need to do this step here, okay? Uh, which is uh, adding to your path the compiler, this um, version of your compiler. Usually it uses this version here, 4.9, but you need to add a seven version. Actually, I don't think this this tutorial it's uh, it's updated because uh, uh, it doesn't have um, mm, um, okay. um, this part here. This version of the compiler here is not present. I think it's slightly different. And uh, yeah, I have this. Score seven two thousand eighteen, uh, blah blah blah, and here is two thousand seventeen. So don't paste and copy it, but just do like this. It's very easy, and that being okay now, you can uh, add it to your path like this, and it should work. Let's see you need to type uh, as you can see here arm known blah 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 a b z c c g c c score score version yeah and we have now our um, version here as you can see uh, it's the correct one now let's hope it works <laughs> and let's build this application Let's copy this command and let's run the uh, make. How it works. It may take it takes time to, to do it. 
let it start. It compiles off. It, com it now Riot is compiling. Yeah. <coughs> Okay, everything was fine. I have generated this binary file here and I can add it to my uh, board. Mm, yes, through this command. Ah, yes, as I said, remember, uh, you remember those 10 that I told you before, okay? Here there is this uh, comma one, but actually it's comma ten for my case because now I'm going to show you how actually I'm launching it, no, not yet. Anyway, uh, this is the ID of our um, STL log LR one one within the the this, uh, the, the lab the cyclic cyclic lab. So uh, I have updated the, um, the the file, uh, the the new the new the new program, and now I can uh, jump into the uh, board. Once again, remember here it's uh, we are using a netcat to to connect to it, and once again remember that here you need to add ten instead of one. Of for example, in my case it was ten, but uh, I. Maybe I, I, I show you why it's 10 once more, because this is the idea of my experiment. As you can see here, the ID of my, within the address of my board, it's this one. Okay, so let's type this command out and let's see if it's work. Yes, I mean, so once again, help show us the, um, the commands that are available within uh, this board. Uh, LoraMac is the control to interact with the LoraMac, LoraMac stack. Let's see command, what command we can give. And uh, these are the commands that we can set. Uh, and now we need to set our uh, device, uh, device uh, EUE. I excuse me and up uh, e u i and so on which we need to take them from here uh, from the things network console of our uh, registered uh, device uh, where I, yes, I'm here him here okay. and so uh, set dev e u e I think. Yeah, it's set. Now let's set set up e u i. And let's copy it from the console. That should be here. Uh, yeah, we are just missing. Yeah, the hat key. And paste it. Just copy it and paste it. Great. Here we are. And uh, now, now we have set all the keys. Uh, yes, yeah, these are code. And uh, we are uh, here. We set uh, a data rate with five which actually means uh, this bandwidth here with this spreading factor. Why do you think we are using it? Because as we, as we saw before, because we are really, really close probably to the to the gateway. So we don't need to set a spreading fact, factor, um, a high spreading factor, so we can transmit faster and in a shorter time saving also battery. So we can set this, wait. And finally, we can try to join the network through the OTA.
Great, we joined. Great, we joined. And uh, as you can see here, my status is updated. And let's try to uh, send a message. That's the, just the, the only thing that's missing. So let's try to send an hello world message. Oh, not here, here, here. Each. Great, I've also received a message because actually we probably have said it before. And um, anyway, let, let's see how, how to send a message. Because here, I can, as you can see, I have received a message now. Here, now it's, it's this message here. And uh, the gateway has um, forwarded me a message from the network server that I have probably said before this tutorial. So uh, that was queued, waiting for a message from me. Okay, so let's try it again, how to, to download link a message. And it's a, um, this tutorial suggests us uh, some hexadecimal values to, tie, to send this string here. So we will type it here, here. we we'll type it here, we click it send. As you can see, download link message is enqueued, so it's waiting for another message from us for sending it to, sending it to us. And so let's try it again. As you can see, back the, the background, you I've received this message with this string, which actually I mm, I I use the decoder to type it like this because actually I received this uh, amount of uh, of, um, of of bytes and I've decoded it like this and you can do it if you want to. And it's very easy. Oh, no, it's not here. You need to, um, yeah, go here to payload formats and custom your own decoder. It's quite easy, it's JavaScript code, and uh, uh, you can see how you can do it like this. Okay. And uh, yeah, we have finished our, our um, tutorial and we are able to communicate with using LoRaWAN messages uh, from the IoT lab in France uh, with uh, using Riot to our The Things Network uh, server. So, good job and uh, bye.